Vision science has taught us a lot about the eye and about the retina, but as we go beyond the optic nerve into the visual cortex, we begin to face profound mysteries. So one of the questions is, how do these networks of neurons in the visual cortex analyze and interpret all this information coming in from the optic nerve? Or how do these different visual areas uh, in the cortex transform visual information in a way that mediates appropriate actions? One of the problems that makes this so difficult in neuroscience to figure out is that the networks of neurons performing these operations are composed of many tiny elements that are connected together in a complex and intricate manner. And so it's not something that's amenable to direct observation. So for example, you can't simply look through a microscope or record from a small number of neurons in the network and expect to figure out what's going on. The point of the computational models is to fill in what might be going on in the system. And by simulating these models and comparing them to experiments, we can gain deeper insight and make inferences about what uh, the things that we cannot directly observe. Beyond its contributions to neuroscience, uh, studies in uh, computational vision have also made contributions to technology. So for example, many of the algorithms used in modern computer vision uh, have been inspired by uh, models in the visual pathway. Berkeley is a great place to get involved in this interdisciplinary aspect of vision science because it has a strong presence in computer vision and machine learning and the computational sciences. And in fact, uh, many, many of the students in our program have taken courses and studied with other professors in these other departments.